So I started playing when I was about 10 years old. Um, and with this last senior year, or last, I guess, year of junior golf coming up, I guess I just want to make some more memories, uh, you know, cherish these last couple tournaments as a junior, and then uh, kind of set myself up to play well at the collegiate level. I'm really looking forward to Duke uh, just because, you know, I'm a big fan of the team that they have coming in, uh, the program, you know, history, um, and just like the, the whole Duke atmosphere. Uh, I think the, the sporting events will be fun, uh, the practice setting will be awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. What are some expectations that you have for yourself both in your senior year and then starting at Duke? Um, I guess I just expect myself to, I mean, I have my own, uh, I guess, issues or not issues, but like um, the things that I want to work on um, before I get to Duke and I guess, you know, hitting those check marks um, while I can uh, to prepare myself to play at Duke would be kind of what I'm expecting. <laughs> what motivates you in your golf game and why do you play? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think what motivates me is my friends and uh, my competitors, I guess. Um, you know, I'm a pretty competitive person. I want to, you know, be better than them or play better. Um, and so I'll work hard and try to, you know, exceed that. Um, and I guess my dad just kind of motivates me, you know, watching him play um, on tour, uh, you know, makes me want to come out here and play well. You talked a little bit about your dad, you know, mm -hmm. I'm sure he had a big influence on yeah. getting you to start golfing, but what besides your dad drives you to continue golfing and what kind of made you fall in love with it? Um, I guess just like the sport in general, um, you know, you'll have, you'll have days where you hit, you, you'll, you'll hit the ball really well and you know, you'll shoot a number that you don't want to shoot, I guess, and then you can go out there and play really bad and, you know, post up a good number. So, you know, that kind of, uh, that that's what kind of made me fall in love with it, you know. You can't really expect too many things out of this sport. Um, and it's just really fun. Uh, you know, I love traveling and, you know, to get to be in a different state, playing a sport that you love, it's, it's awesome. How does it feel to be able to play in events with your family's name on them and how, like, what does that mean to you to be able to come out here and represent your dad and your family in this tournament? Uh, it makes me, you know, kind of, kind of anxious a little bit, you know, you want to, you want to play well, um, representing my family's name, but, um, you know, th th this tournament has been, you know, something that I've been kind of chasing ever since, you know, it became a, ever since it was uh, established, and so, I think this is my last year I get to play in it, and uh, I guess I kind of want to go off on a high note.